I have to film videos. Let's make a video. This is my Strivin, my new HVZ primary. Let's talk about it. You guys can't tell what's going on here. This is my new Straven I built in the span of three days. I actually built two of these. Uh, I made a post on my community section with a Gen 1 Blue Stripe and a, uh, a Raven Sinner, right? And everyone was all pissed off, freaking out about, oh, you're cleaning up a, a Raven Sinner or a Gen 1. You should have shipped out to me. You should have, yeah. I don't care. It was my Sinner. It was my Gen 1 Stripe. And I wanted to do with it what I chose to do. And I built two of them. So this is the product of one of them. And we'll just start off with the external modifications and I'll you know, go over internal mods and show you guys uh, the blaster firing. So starting off, I did the same kind of body work that Frank did on his personal Straven. Same colors. I started off with a black vinyl dye uh, primer, a automotive gray base. And then on it, I did Citadel blue and then Citadel green paint, which looks really good on it. I start off by cutting up the, the uh, Raven shell at about the, the pathway point and I completely neglected the side, the side panel right here specifically like it was on my other two Stravens, the gold one and then the one by Grim Reaper 2458. And that was just because of simplistic reasons of cracks and issues with it. I still have the ability to open up the jam door if I need to clear any jams or malfunctions, which I've had zero with this blaster on this setup. Uh, there's a switch right here, which a lot of people will notice. It does absolutely nothing. I have a light bulb in here. But the, the switch isn't wired to anything. There's no point to this switch. It's legitimately just like right before a game starts. Just a... All right, I'm ready now. And people are looking at me like I'm crazy, which is going to be funny as hell. They're like, what does that do? It's like, oh, it does nothing. I just flicked it for no reason. The integration was done with Smoothcast 65D, um, Dev, uh, DevCon Epoxy Putty, which is like some of the best epoxy putty you can physically buy. It's expensive as hell, but it's worth it. I sanded this thing down like a mother for freaking hours. And I tried my best to make sure that it was as smoothly integrated to this as I can. And this bond is going to be the last thing to break on this plaster. You can break the actual plastic on this before you break that bond which means it's going to be extremely secure and everything. Um, down here, I have a extended mag release that's been 3D printed by a friend of mine. And that's because my OmniClear 18 round mags don't like the actual Raven mag release. And I don't know why. This is the same Raven like mag release spring, just a different mag uh, release design. And the internals are a little bit thicker. So like this is an actual 18. Fits fine, doesn't have any problems, but the Omni cores have issues for whatever reason. Moving on to the internals of this blaster. Now, I don't know if this is going to be the permanent setup for this blaster because I've kind of swapped between two setups right now, but uh, the other one I was having a few issues with and that might have been on my part, but right now it's running a Artifact Red Cage with Infer uh, Infernal V2 uh, wheels. Along with that, you have 20 gauge wiring, not 16, 20 gauge, going to an XT60 in the battery tray. Which, with most 2S batteries, I have to run the worker, like, orange expanded battery door for, like, the swordfish. I have a 0.85 graphene in here right now. And a worker thumb screw right here. You'll notice that the actual back raven tray has not been painted, and that's just because of noisiness. But in here, it just barely fits in there, as is. I padded the battery tray with some craft foam, so that way the light bulb wouldn't like thrash around and damage itself potentially and that's just me being extra careful and everything and i work with them screw again just because why not as always i did a custom trigger mod uh trigger spring mod specifically to reduce the travel of a uh, trigger so that way i can shoot off a lot faster and then down here stock mag release stock rev trigger just because i like them and i feel like it's less crowded than it normally would be with the expanded extended uh, rev trigger and ex then uh, mag release. Nothing wrong with them. I just like the stock stuff personally, nothing bad. This was definitely a replica, obviously. It's meant to honor Coop and what he did for a hobby. And honestly, I've always wanted to build another one of these. So after 12 years of waiting, I figured it was time. 
let's get into the firing demo, my final thoughts and conclusions, and how I thought the project turned out. Hi guys, we have the Straven out of the range and we're firing X shot and Sandy darts at the uh, Out of my final thoughts and conclusions on the project and how I thought it turned out. Honestly, I'm very happy with this project. Doing this in the span of three days was stressful. Doing two of them in the span of three days was extremely stressful. And it was a lot of fun to build these though at the same time. Bringing back old integration memories and just getting back to my roots as a creator was a lot of fun. The project performs very well, especially running Michel 2.0 motors on an artifact cage with Infernal Wheels V2. I wasn't expecting the performance I was getting. Are the groupings perfect? No, but do they work? Yeah, I would say they're fairly acceptable groupings for what it is, especially on a human-sized target. Now, obviously, with it being an integration, this is going to be you know more uh, work than a standard Strife mod. So if you are not familiar with integrations, there are hundreds of videos out there teaching you about epoxy putty, epoxy work, and all that. Go look them up. I'm not the person to give you all the advice on it, but it is just something I would recommend everyone try at least once. Start small and work your way up. This is my final HVZ blaster. I don't think I'm ever going to build another one because I like the way it turned out. I'm very proud of the way it turned out. The epoxy work down here especially is very good on the grip. Yeah, it's a little bit of a crack there, but that's just normal because you have to, whoops, because you have to actually have that so that way you can take apart the shell. Uh, painting the battery door, that's unfinished. Will that be finished? Don't know, don't know. That was terrible. Um, I had a Spectre barrel, ordered to test this house. Don't have the paint to paint it, so I can't finish that either. But I'll finish this, everything will be finished up eventually. And I, I will, you know, maybe do an update video eventually, but it's really not worth doing on a painted battery door and a big barrel extension. But that's, that's the Straven guys. And this is a honorable replica to replicate what Frank had and just to honor what he's done for Bobby. So, Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next one. Remember, as always, the hair might be fake, but the reviews aren't in either of my opinions. Stay safe. God bless. Phase one thumb sign off. Stay tactical.